Welcome to the President's Diary, a weekly program where we highlight the work of His Excellency, Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali. The President met virtually on Tuesday with the President of the Islamic Development Bank, Dr. Bandar Hajar and his team to discuss intervention measures and the bank's support in the wake of the recent floods across Guyana. The head of state raised the need for aid for farmers to restore their productive capacity, support for drainage and irrigation initiatives, and to strengthen the national drainage system. On Wednesday, President Ali hailed as a success a tactical display of Exercise Trade Winds 2021 conducted at the Yarakabra Range on the Linden Suzdike Highway. During the simulation, the ranks showcased their tactical abilities and demonstrated the skills learned over the past two weeks. The demonstration culminated with three Black Hawk helicopters swooping down to ferry the ranks to safety, signaling a successful extraction of the troops. The head of state applauded the performance. He pointed to the importance of strengthening the decision-making capabilities of the ranks in the fields, which he said will allow them to strategize and better respond to a range of scenarios. The president added that the strategies and teamwork executed by the ranks are needed to combat the changing nature of crime in the region. Prior to arriving at Yaro Cabra, the commander-in-chief was given an administrative and logistical briefing at the Ramada Princess Hotel on the two-week operation. After the briefing, he lauded the ranks for the successful execution of exercise trade winds given the COVID-19 environment in which they operated. He was accompanied by the Guyana Defense Force Chief of Staff Brigadier Godfrey Bess, National Security Advisor Captain Jerry Gavaya, and other military officials from participating countries, including the United States. The President Thursday morning attended a funeral service of former Director of the Mashramani Secretariat, Mr. Lennox Canterbury, at the National Cultural Center, Tarmac. President Ali said the passing of Mr. Canterbury, who dedicated his life in service to his country, is a great national loss. I have had the privilege to learn from him. I have had the privilege to work with him on many occasions to experience his calmness when things become difficult, to experience his wealth of knowledge when things become complex and huge in size to manage and handle, to experience his winning way of bringing people together in a team to accomplish a task. The head of state worked alongside Mr. Canterbury over the years during his tenure as Minister of Housing and Water and as Minister of Tourism, Industry and Commerce. Mr. Canterbury sat on organizing committees for many national projects, including Building Expo, Guy Expo, Guyana Festival and Mashramani, among others. I enjoyed his company. I enjoyed his knowledge. I enjoyed his simplicity. I enjoyed his commitment. I can sh truly say, as president, I felt his love in good times and not so good times. The president said Mr. Canterbury's legacy will live on as he took the time to nurture and impart his knowledge and experience to others. In addition, he ensured the seamless continuity of projects in which he was integrally involved. These include the 55th Independence Activities as well as Guyana National Day celebrations at Expo 2020 Dubai. That was a man who was fearless in sharing his ideas. You know, sometimes people guard their ideas and guard their knowledge not Kathy. For me, he was not an employee. For me, he was much more than a public servant. Some servant. He was a friend, a brother, someone who I admired, someone who I looked up to, someone who I'm thankful I was able to meet and share time with in my lifetime. I pray that his soul find everlasting peace. President Ali expressed gratitude to Mr. Canterbury's wife Karen and his family for giving him the latitude over the years to share his time, talent and love to Guyana and its people. Meanwhile, His Excellency says the Guyana Police Force is on a mission to change public perception. The head of state was speaking during the handing over ceremony for a computer center at the Coven John Police Station on Thursday. The theory we are working by and working with 
is that results matters. And at the end of the day, it is the results of our collective efforts that matters. There's our result, not in going after criminals, but stopping crime. Through great intelligence, not only intelligence gathering, but through greater intelligence with the use of well-trained professional manpower and also technology. President Ali explained that the nature of crime will evolve as the country develops, a reality to which Guyana must quickly adapt. A more prosperous country becomes a target for more, more sophisticated criminals. So our approach to crime fighting has to be one beyond the boundaries of Guyana. We've already seen where our collaboration has led to some of the largest drug busts regionally over the last few months. The president says people-centered policing is critical to the outlook and future of the police force. His Excellency speaking at a cocktail reception hosted Thursday evening at the Baridi Benab State House said partnerships stemming from the multinational military operation Exercise Tradewinds 2021 are critical for the overall peace, security and stability of the region. The reception was hosted to honor the heads of the participating delegations. President Ali said he wants to see the participating countries continue their strong networking to build integral relationships. The overall objective from all of us who participated here is to ensure we build an international coalition to ensure the peace and stability of this region, to ensure the security, and to ensure this region never ever becomes a safe haven for transnational crime. He also implored the delegations to convey his highest regards and sentiments to their respective headquarters. Tokens of appreciation were also given to the heads of the participating nations. On the climate front, President Ali says unless the targets set at the Paris Agreement in 2015 are realized, the world can expect to experience future water disasters and further setbacks to the sustainable development agenda. The head of state made this assertion during his virtual address at the plenary session of the 5th United Nations Special Thematic Session on Water and Disaster held on Friday. I commend the United Nations for organizing this vital session, which I believe has an obligation to move the global community towards greater action in addressing climate change as a trigger for water-related disasters. Guyana, however, remains engaged in working along with the United Nations and the rest of the international community to press for concerted global attention and action to arrest climate change. President Ali pointed to the pandemic and climate change as the foremost threats to the Sustainable Development Goals. The pandemic, he added, has served to magnify the already existing problems within society and in relations between states. Addressing the climate crisis is therefore integral to the post-COVID-19 recovery. It would amount to a misadventure on the part of the international community if, in its effort to rebuild stronger and better after the pandemic, it neglects the potent threats posed by water disasters or ignores the indisputable link between the hazards. Indeed, it is vital that the international community recognizes the impact of the pandemic on developing countries and how these impacts can retard progress towards the SDGs. President Ali says Guyana has committed itself irreversibly to a low-carbon path to development in which mainstreaming the SDGs in national development while combating climate change are fully compatible. The Guyanese leader Friday afternoon held talks via telephone with the President of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Akufo Addo. The Presidents reaffirmed their strong commitment to the long-standing friendly relations between their two countries. Dr. Ali recalled the discussions held during the Ghanaian leader's state visit to Guyana in 2019, when he met a delegation led by then-opposition leader and now Vice President Dr. Bar Jagdil. During their discussions on Friday, Presidents Ali and Akufo Addo 
committed to advancing and deepening the agenda for cooperation between the two countries in the oil and gas sector on environmental issues and other areas. This has been the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thanks for watching. Join us again next week.